Hi guys, welcome back to your Stan Reviews. Today we're having a look at something different. This is the Asus GTX 670 DCU Mini, and it really is small, so 17 centimeters in length. That's the same length as an MITX motherboard. Now, you've got a few things here. We're gonna go around to the back of the card. You'll see a direct power chip, which helps deliver clean power to the GPU and reduces the card's temperature by about 15%. And on the front, we've got this little vapor chamber, which is really cool. I really like this. This is my favorite thing. Uh, it's actually got a mini vapor chamber directly attached to the GPU core to keep the entire card cool. Eight pin power. So not a lot of power, but I mean, as you're about to see, uh, it's just enormous on the performance. So we got a stock performance on 3D Mark 11 of P8197, and we got an overclocked performance of P8561, which is ridiculously impressive. The card stayed really cool, as you can see here, during that entire process, and it just demolishes Battlefield 3. So not a worry in the world if you want to play Battlefield 3 1080p on Ultra, this thing will eat alive. 1006 megahertz on the stock clock, and it's got like a whole host of features, which, you know, are nice to have with a small form factor card. So at the back here, we've actually got like a little LED light that tells you if it's getting enough power and whether or not the power socket's actually inserted correctly. And when it is, it goes green, which is really cool. And, and yeah, I mean, it's a little bit more expensive than your standard GTX 670 because of the small form factor and it is a non-reference card. But if you are building a, you know, MITX system, and this should really be on the top of the list. It's been Dan K again for another review. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you've got any comments, do post them below. I'll try and answer them as soon as possible. And do click in the middle of your screen to subscribe.